you're saying, you know, the danger zone and to get a high value man at this time, um, mm -hmm. how could we, how could I juggle it with getting a high value man back that, um, I felt like I lost because I wasn't, ah. um, in therapy. I wasn't, okay. I think I understand. Um, by the way, guys, I'm going to be doing a Kevin Samuels. Um, so this girl was with a high value man before and lost him. And now she wants to juggle trying to get that guy back while also getting a new guy at the same time. So she wants to have multiple men on the leash at the same time ridiculous um i wasn't ready and he i wasn't ready oh, okay i understand now i understand very well she slept with another guy while she was with a high value man and now she wants the 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 guy back when this new guy didn't commit to her like the high value man did i see called uh. it out he said i needed to get therapy and i really want him okay so here's the thing uh, you can't, like, treat a high-value man however you want. You must behave according to his standards. And if you don't behave according to his standards, that's what's going to happen. He's going to kick you to the curb. You can't just do whatever you want and then get the result that you want. That is not how it works. Sure, if you're dealing with a loser, a beta male who will bend over and let you do whatever you want with him. You can get away with that sort of stuff. But if you're dealing with a high value man, a superior man, an apex man, you can't just go and sleep around, be rude, be non-feminine, be non-fit, be non-cooperative, be non-submissive, and then get everything you want. And by the way, once you lose the opportunity, there is no new opportunity. You can't convince the guy to come back. It's not going to happen. He's not going to come back. Because he, once the trash is thrown to the curb, there is no reason to put it back in the house. Hello, and welcome to Helios Blog. My name is Helios, here for another reaction video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, hitting all for notifications. If you're listening on the podcast, rate it five stars and give me a follow. Uh, if you'd like me to comment on a video or compilation, maybe a Reddit post, send it to the Helios blog at gmail.com. Let's continue. You know what? I am glad you asked this question. How to fix it. So guys, before Kevin says anything, you can't fix it. And here's what I mean. Once you've ruined your opportunity with a man of value, once you've shown him that you are not of quality, not to his standard, he is not going to give you that opportunity to come back. He is simply going to replace you with another girl. If you hadn't done your healing, as it were, which means sleeping around, and slept around with enough men, if you hadn't done that yet, well, too bad. You missed your train. And this is common for too many modern women. It is common for too many modern women that they think they haven't done their healing and they move on from the best man they ever had only later on to try and come back to try and win him back. And it does not work. So women say when they're 30 or 28 or whatever, where have all the good men gone? Well, they're back in your 20s where you left them. When you threw them away like they were trash. That's where they are. And now that they're there, they're not coming back for you. It's done. Your opportunity has passed. Sorry. Okay. Well, first off, you've already done step one, acknowledging that there is a problem. Okay, sure. See, Kevin is being really nice here. But let's see if he tells the truth. So he's saying acknowledging there's a problem. So the thing is this, okay? 
once there is a problem, uh, you can't get back with that guy. You have to address the problem. You as the woman has to go and fix your issues. And here are the issues, okay? Because very often it's an issue of not being the following. Fit, feminine, friendly, submissive, cooperative, and bedroom fun, loyal. If you're not all of those, it doesn't matter how much therapy you do. It doesn't matter how much mental gymnastics you do. The men that you want are not going to want you. Acknowledging that you found somebody that could be in the area and let's just say it nicely, you might have screwed it up, right? Yeah. How to yes. get it back. Uh, well, is the person still single and available? And here is the thing. So, as I said, imagine, okay, this girl is quite entitled, right? So imagine the kind of man that this girl would be attracted to that kind of man has many options for women. So it's a very easy, therefore, for a man like that to move on to a new girl easily. And here's the thing, and many men of high value do this. If you try to come back, I might let you come back, but I will never let you come back in the position that you want. I will maximally let you come back as a friends with benefits and no more. Because you have already failed my selection test. So for me, you are not worthy of such a relationship. And so why would I ever give you that? I won't. And so it's very possible that the guy that this girl wants back might accept her. But never for what she wants. And so she'll waste even more time. It's better off going to a new guy, unfortunately. Yes. Okay. Approximately how long ago did you guys end your interaction? A year ago, but he... Oh, uh, there got... Okay. <sighs> High value man. It is impossible. Guys, not improbable. I'm choosing this word on purpose. Impossible for that guy not to have had another girl in a year if he is of quality like that. No way. No way. He doesn't live in the same state as me. Okay. A year ago. Ah, I think I understand the situation. So the guy, okay, I think I, think I get it. The guy flew her out. He was that high, ha uh, that high quality, that high value, that he had the money to fly this girl out from a different state. And she was so entitled that she still didn't think that guy was good enough for her. And she messed it up, quote unquote. There is no way a guy like that would ever n have trouble getting a new girl. The same way he got you, he could get another girl. And in a year, a year is a really long time, more than 300 days, even if the guy is extremely busy with businesses, he's going to have a week to get another girl. He's going to get horny again. Go. All right. And he ended it by saying, it was ended. He said that you need to yeah. get your, your stuff together. Yeah, he said, literally, I need to get therapy. Have you so done that? No. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her expression. Oh, by the way, uh, guys, now is the time to tell you about alpha widows, okay? Uh, because this is what an alpha widow looks like. She was with an alpha male. She didn't meet his standard. She thought that she was going to get him. But as she thought that she had secured this guy, he cut it off. And do you see, you can see it on her face, the eternal sadness this girl will be unable to pair bond with any future guy. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is an alpha widow. And look at how hard she's trying to win the guy back. Actually, she's not trying all that hard because it was literally a year. If, like, if the girl was truly a good girl, right, what she would do is she would be crying on the floor trying to get the guy back, doing whatever he wanted, anything to not lose the guy. But no, now after a year, now she wants back.
right? When she sees that the grass isn't greener, when she cheated on the guy and he tells her that she needs to get therapy, now she needs to solve, you know, now she needs to go get relationship advice from Kevin Samuels so that she can, you know, come back. Ridiculous. Yes, I've been in therapy from that time. Uh, so yes, all right. I'm, I'm all still right. in therapy. All right. And have you learned anything in therapy that would have made a difference in the relationship you had? Yes, that I have to go from what I see right now. Um, I can't go off of what I've done in the past and I shouldn't bring it up. Oh, now I really, really understand. Okay. So this is the type of girl that in every situation she's going to bring up everything that past partners did. When I, yeah, like, oh, my six foot seven boyfriend was better at this than you. Oh, my uh, boyfriend, when I was 18 years old, he was an uh, artist. And why don't you play music like he does? And etc. cetera. Uh, my, my other boyfriend, he was really good at fixing cars. But you can't even change the oil. That sort of thing is dis absolutely, utterly destructive for relationships. Again, like, that, like at a certain point, it's, it's impossible, right? Like... These girls want to be with men of high value without bringing things to the table that they need to bring in order to have a harmonious relationship. How could you possibly believe that you could get a harmonious relationship out of something like that? It's just, it baffles the mind, guys. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't know about that either. And it was always, I, I felt like I was giving him too much information where he would be it's like, I don't care don't want to mm -hmm. talk about that and i was mm -hmm. like thinking he was mean but i should never brought those things up because yeah when the guy says i don't want to talk about that take the hint okay guys men listening i know you know this none of us want brutal honesty like nobody wants brutal honesty brutal honesty just makes you a dick right like if if you are telling every single little thing that pops into your brain about the person. It's it's over, right? You can't do that guy or girl. You can't say, oh, I think you look fat today. Or, you know, um, you, you, uh, you know, like, you're not as well endowed as my past partner. Or, you know, uh, how come my ex could, could uh, have bedroom fun with me 25 times, but you can only do 10? You're, you don't have stamina. Or, Oh, you're not good at basketball? My ex was an incredible basketball player. And you should have seen him go and X and Y and Z. Men do not feel special when you do things like this. So stop talking about it. If, if you, as a girl, have all this past experience, understand that it doesn't make you more attractive to men. It makes you less attractive. It didn't matter. Okay, and, uh, so... It, he didn't so do anything hold on, to hold me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Making men in your present pay for mistakes of your past equals no future. That's no, exactly. Yeah, really nice. Really nicely put, Kevin. So the idea is this. The less of a past a woman has, the better for the future. It's true. This is why men prefer girls with zero end count or one end count. If you have like a 25 end count and you're mentioning every sentence another guy... Like, it's going to destroy the relationship. Because all the guy will ever think about is how you're comparing him to other men. Men want their ego fed. You can't possibly feed a guy's ego by constantly comparing him to other men. He's going to think that you see him as lower than the other men. Which, of course, she does. Or she did. Because if she didn't, then she wouldn't have said those things. She wouldn't dare say those things. That's what she's saying. Number one, number two. When men are ready to, to move forward, they really don't care about all that stuff. They just want to know, is it a problem? So, uh, when was the last time you spoken to this man? Oh, by the way, guys, uh, Kevin is 
trying to make the girl feel better. Uh, men do care about the past like that. They do. Um, not just if it's a problem, but like... Okay, here's the thing. If the girl is an alpha widow from a previous man, there is no way the relationship's going to work. And women have many red flags if they are alpha widows, right? Like, they, nothing you do ever satisfies them or pleases them. Uh, they, they constantly mention other men and what other men did. Uh, they, you know, they're just cold for whatever reason. Like, they, they, they never allow themselves to be close. Um, all kinds of stuff. And that prevents women from getting into long-term relationships and marriages. So, you, you can't, no, like, that, that can't happen. Since your breakup? Um, I haven't just over a year since that time, but it's mm -hmm. since all that has passed. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like I lost him. I, I moved on and uh -huh. I got married, but I don't. What? Wait, wait, what? No! What? What is this? I can't believe she just said that. Excuse me? So wait, 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 wait. This girl was alpha widowed by this guy in the past. Then she supposedly moved on and married another guy. And now she's in a marriage and she's thinking about how to get back with that guy? You cannot make this shit up. What? Oh my god! The blatant hypergamy! Okay, so guys, I actually talk about this stuff in my in my videos. Wow. That uh <laughs> Um guys, I'm speechless. Sorry. Uh, how could she possibly think that that's okay? First of all, highly disrespectful to her husband, highly disrespectful to her vows, um and super like once the guy who she's interested in, once he learns that she's in a marriage or she was in a marriage and she was thinking about breaking up the marriage to get with him, how do you think he's going to react? He's also not going to want her. The grass is not greener. You lost the alpha, the alpha male. It's done. You can't get it back. Like, how can she... Like, you literally got married to another guy. It's done. You're not competitive anymore on the market. You, you can't go, you can't just turn the clock around and say, no, no, I prefer this man in my past more. Can, how can I get him, Kevin? Wow! That's... Guys, it baffles the mind that the, such entitlement is even possible. Are you kidding me? That is absurd. How dare she call in? And ask how to get back with the alpha male of her past. Guys, as I said, did, did I not say she was an alpha widow? Like, I called it like 500, like 500%, right? She's a fully, okay. She's an alpha widow calling in, in a marriage, for how she can get back with the, with the, with the alpha male before she got married? Are you kidding me? She's had her healing. By literally getting married to another man and realizing the, that, that the guy that she married got married to as a rebound is not good enough for her suddenly. And now she's going to turn around, wreck this guy's life. Yeah, and then what? Is there going to be another plot twist? Does she have like three kids by this guy too? Ridiculous. 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 Wow. Okay, let's move on to the Reddit post. I'm, I, I don't want to listen to any more of that garbage. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. My girlfriend of six years cheated on me. I mean, literally. Look, it's a bit... Guys, 20 hours ago, okay? So I was literally just scrolling Reddit today and bam. Like, these things are a dime a dozen, guys. Like, if you go to relationship advice, it's everywhere. My girlfriend, 24, cheated on me after six years and they've been together since the guy was 19. She works at a small cafe and is pretty close with her co-workers. Uh-oh. There was one guy, another co-worker, that her other co-workers teased her about since the beginning, saying she would be cute with him, etc. She told me about this and we laughed because it was so ridiculous and they knew she was in a relationship. Fast forward a few months, he doesn't work there anymore. And he was only part-time, so, so he wasn't there much anyways. 
For some background information, me and my girlfriend have always been extremely loyal. We've had an overall healthy relationship and great communication. We're best friends and have been really content. Uh-oh. If the guy says the best friends, it means the girl sees him as a beta male. We resolve any issues that we have with each other at, the, at, at this time. This came as a giant surprise to me. One of her coworkers is seemingly toxic. From what I've been told from my GF, I'll call this coworker Jenny. She's 21. She's a girl who likes to party and do illicit substances, hook up, etc. Which is fine, but my girlfriend is the opposite. Guys, if your girl has friends that party, do illicit substances, mess around with guys, go on girls' night out, she's going to become one of them. Birds of a feather. No friends like that. That's one of the relationship rules. My girlfriend warned me about this girl uh, because they said she's fake. My girlfriend stayed on good terms with Jenny since they're co-workers and would sometimes hang out at bars or at house parties. Oh, so this guy lets, her, uh, lets his girlfriend go to bars and house parties without him? The relationship was already over. Anyways, my girlfriend had a birthday party at a bar a month ago. It was a party where she invited all of her coworkers. I didn't go because I didn't know her coworkers, and it would be awkward because I don't really know them. Ah, the girlfriend told the boyfriend not to go to this party because she doesn't know her friends. So here we go. The girlfriend sees the boyfriend as a beta male. She's purposely keeping him away from the rest of her social life because she finds her boyfriend repulsive and is just using him, and she's going to try to jump to the alpha genes. I see it. I wanted to go, but I just took my girlfriend's word for it because I trust her and I'm not into socializing anyways. I'd fallen asleep and she came home around 2 a.m., went to bed, and things were fine. She wakes up early, hungover, and tells me she made a mistake. Uh-oh. I start getting anxiety because I knew exactly what she meant. She told me she kissed somebody at the bar. Guys, that's called a trickle truth. So if a girl tells you something like this, it means that they probably had bedroom fun. They didn't just kiss. Even if she says something like, the guy tried to kiss me. It's done. Relationship's already over. Later that day, she finally confessed that it was her coworker, her old one. The one, ta the one she'd been teased about previously, and she's known him for like a year. I was insanely hurt because cheating hurts. She's not that kind of girl, and I was super surprised that it happened. Guys, here's the thing, guys. Women are women, okay? So if you allow them to do things that are destructive for relationships, well, guess what? Even the best girls are going to destroy their relationships. So that's why we have the relationship rules that we have. No, no boy, like friends that are boys. No going out to parties or clubs or whatever girls night out unless you're present. Uh, no trips alone. Uh, no hanging out in mixed company unless you're present, etc. This kind of thing is insanely destructive to relationships. So you can't let it happen. Oh, also, no social media. No Instagram, no Facebook, no Snapchat, no... No, none of that. Okay, after having my doubts about what she said, I ended up looking in her phone for a solid two minutes. I looked at the messages between GF and Jenny because I had a suspicion, and I'm pretty glad I did. I found out that my girlfriend actually invited Jim to the party. So she literally told her boyfriend not to go so that she could sleep with this guy. I mean, guys, how much more do you need to hear? How much more do you need to be told that you're second best? It's ridiculous. Like, man. Okay, guys. I literally cannot comment on, on this anymore. Like, I'm, I'm done. We're going to end the video there. Like, this is... Anyway, if you're new to the channel, liking the videos, please leave a sub and hit the bell for notifications. If you're on the podcast, rate me five stars, give me a follow. Use the comment section if you agree or disagree with my points. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube, bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble, bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com. My podcast bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. My Patreon, 
patreon.com slash the Helios blog. You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. Thank you so much for all of your support.